17 well, seconds! Oh my well god, no! We're about to lose! Oh my god, how many positions are we going to lose? What can I say guys, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm back. I said I wasn't going to be, but I am in another Super Formula VIX race at the Red Bull Ring, and I'm starting 23rd out of 23 cars. Dead, dead last. What could go wrong? Temp is 25 Celsius. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, that's the plan, Jimbo. Go. I was waiting for the carnage. Disappointed it didn't happen. Great start. And then I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> no idea how many people died there. I just saw that car coming over from the right and was like, oh. I wonder if he's coming back over. I was waiting for the tag, to be honest with you. But we're good, we're good. So we were 23rd, so let's let's see what we are when we cross the line. We started dead dead oh, last. Right. That was close. Never. Never. We need to slow down and get back some time. B15. You need to give back the time gained. Yeah, we can get rid of this slowdown into turn three. Eight positions there. Eight positions in one corner, pretty much. <laughs> nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. There we go. Got rid of it. Got rid of it. About losing any positions. All right, let's crack on. Oh, someone's off into the gravel. Yellow flag. Watch out. Chris. Does have a habit of being very aggressive, and he was starting at a position. So, whether that was by design or not, I don't know. It looks like he's got going again. The leader's just done one thirty point one. Excuse a bit, push the pass, try and close the gap up a bit. B13, actually into positive IR. I'll take that. Ten positions up at the moment. Gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 0.7. New fastest line for Oh my god, the rear end nearly went on me. Woo. That lap time was 113.6. Couldn't quite get on throttle there as I wanted to, because we was on the sausage curve. Oh, someone's going very slow up front, I saw that car. Not ideal, but... Just pulled out of it there. I didn't 
want to go free wide into that. I didn't know what the lap car was specifically going to do. Oh my god, this fucking setup. Sound like a broken record. Once again, just a little bit too close. A little bit too close to pull here, to my liking. Right, I'll use a bit of pusher pass now. Try and make this stick. Happy days, happy days, right. Let's chase down that top 10. Eight laps remaining. We can do this. Bit of clean air now, see what we can do. Not going to catch them like that though, am I? There's an apex there somewhere. Top four seem to be having a good fight. Five. Hopefully they continue that and we pick up some freebies. You can't park there, sir. You can't park there. <laughs> Slowly catching Vix, slowly. Not quick enough though, really. That'd be enough. Oh, wow. I thought that was a slowdown. He's a bit push more, a bit more push to pass, try and close the gap. No point saving it all to the end. Looks like there might be a little bit of a gaggle in front, a bit of a fight happening. Close the gap and touch. Fair play to those lads doing low 12s. Halfway home, we're okay on fuel. You're losing two tenths in sectors one and two. Sector Shut up, Jim. I know. Off the face. I don't you the like track. this setup. Nice and tidy. All right, give me a break. So critical. Just want a bit of support every now and then. Come on, this fight's happening up in front. There's a top ten on the cards. I can feel it.
just done a 111. Come on, I need someone to go side by side. Something. Give me something. I mean, I've already got 11 positions game, but I want more. Three more laps, or well, four more laps after this, actually. 10, 11, 12, 13. I might third there. Thought I wasn't in third. In fourth, sorry. Not quite sure how that was enough track. About track limits. Keep it between the lines. Better lap there. No, that wasn't a very good corner. Can't quite make up the gap. Can't quite make up the gap. Patient on throttle there, because we're wide. Ah. One thirteen zero, a poor, poor lap there. The gap to Harper. Mix was caught up. Run though. I am just so scared of this setup though. Like, I'm so hesitant on throttle. And I can't hit an apex to save my life. Left. Right, Vic's a bog in front. Oh, going side by side into turn three. That's it, lads. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. It's kind of one more real, op one more lap actually for me. Not been able to close the gap. Fucking understeer. Oh, 
Oh, I think I missed time my uh, push to pass. One more lap to go. You've just done a 112. I think I could have used a bit more of it earlier. Good consistency. Keep it up. Ah, uh, well, unless something dramatic happens on this last lap, we are about to finish P12, which I'll take. I'll take. Is going to happen between now and then. Harper ahead is now 2.5 seconds. The leader has just done it. 11. Oh, 11.4, fastest lap by Joe. Oh, bollocks, that's a slowdown. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Oh, uh, 17 12. seconds! Oh my well god, no! We're about to lose! Oh my god, how many positions are we going to lose? 17 seconds! No! We're going to have a look at it. So before we're going to have a look at the incidents, we need to check where we've ended up. 17 bloody seconds at the end there for that oxy slowdown. Oh, my life. I've gone from gaining 16 to losing 18. I mean, look, grand scheme of things is not the end of the world, but really? Really? So where did we finish? 16th! 16th! So we lost four positions because it's a 17 second time penalty. We was basically the last of the runners. I mean, apart from those who were a lap down, but I mean like, oh my God. Right. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what else to say. People will be going, of course, it's my own fault. Should have stopped. But fucking Red Bull Ring man and that fucking setup. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. One bit, of course, only myself to blame. However, still very, very frustrating to say the least. Um, right, let's go have a look at the start because that's where we gained eight positions. Right, so the starts. Took it easy and cautious rather than steaming in this time. And what happened up ahead? Oh, someone's lost their rear wing. Oh, no. That car there, I really thought was going to hit me. Right. Let's rewind it back. Right. So we're first going to look at Sven here uh, because he's the car who this happens to, <laughs> basically. Um, so let's just rewind that back. And as it so often is into T1, a tight squeeze here. And if we keep an eye out on Sven here, I mean, yeah. Meat, meat in a sandwich there. Um, I don't know who that green car was, but he just looks like sent it up the inside there and that just forced Sven to move over to his left slightly. Of course, we'll have a look at what ha is happening to the top left-hand side of your screen in a, in a second. Uh, and that, yeah, made, made Sven, unfortunately. Um, I mean, this green car... You'll see him come out from behind myself now. I mean, absolutely sends it from a mile back there. And that just spooks Sven, rightfully so. And unfortunately, Sven, um, Sven takes out Angel there. And the green car drives off without a care in the world. Happy as Larry. So, yeah. Let's have a look at this incident happening on screen. Um, slightly up ahead, though. So we're rolling it back slightly and we're on board with Adam here because he loses his rear wing, which you're about to see from the most innocuous touches I've ever seen in my life. Explain that, explain that. And he nearly gets away with it. Of course, he would have lost it into the next corner anyway because he's got no downfalls. But um, you can then see that here, 
Dan is is a passenger. And it's all caused because of Adam losing his rear wing, but he slowed down. Of course, he's had contact. And the car on the left here then reacts to, of course, him losing his rear wing uh, and moving over. But he's reacted too much. <laughs> it's easy to say that uh, and be critical of that in the moment. Uh, sorry, now. Uh, but in the moment, I totally understand. Um, but he's moving over to the right to avoid a car that he would have 100% have made contact in if he stayed on his same trajectory. Uh, but unfortunately, Daniel was to his right. And then, yeah. And then <laughs> we got Bruce here, who is probably thinking, thank God I've avoided all of this. Because he takes avoiding action round the sausage curb. Goes, nah, I'm not having any part of that. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just have a look at that from his cockpit. Because all of a sudden, he would have just seen a purple and bright green uh, Super Formula car fill his vision. He's thinking, yes, right. Oh, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, that was the start. Um, that was eight positions gained. Let's have a look at the next one. So we are on board with Chris here and well Chris, I've raced against Chris a number of times and he is a very aggressive driver. Um, sometimes it works out well for him, sometimes it doesn't. But in this instance I've rolled it back because of just this incident with the green car because this was the gentleman who sent it up the inside of turn one and questionable kind of defending there and um, pulling out in front of Chris there. And then Chris decides to, I mean, there's moving under brake in there, for one, from the green car. Um, while Chris has, in this instance, I think made his intentions quite clear. And then, of course, we head down into turn five where they made contact. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so that time, that time, if we just rewind it back here and we slow it down, I think the blame has to be on Chris. Um, no doubt there he's moved over oh maybe has he i think that's i think that's both of their fault really i think that's a racing incident because now i slow it down if you look at it i mean the green car isn't really breaking what i would say in a straight line they're breaking over away from that white line you can see there um that's not really the turning point of this corner. You break down in a straight line and then you turn like as you're well, definitely past the 50 marker. And then just before you get to the end of the red and white curve, that's when you're starting to turn in, as you can see from these angles here. But this car is is moving away from that white line. He's trying to squeeze. He's trying to move across there under brake and squeeze Chris. Now, let's have a look and see where Chris is moving to. I mean, Chris is kind of moving, trying to open the corner as much as possible. And of course, they've both met together into a point. I'm actually going to put more blame there on the uh, green car. I said it was equal. Initially thought it was Chris. Then it was equal. And now I've gone over to the green car because I think upon review, that is definitely moving under braking um, as we saw into turn three as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Intrigued to hear your thoughts. So yeah, that's where we gained another two positions. Uh, let's have a look and see if there were any other incidents across the race. Oh, this is Enzo. Oh, lost it under braking. Very, oh my God. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Who was... Who was the green car there? He nearly, nearly made contact. John. Did he make contact? With Enzo. Oh. Oh, he did. He did. But seems to be John's front wing has repaired itself. So very, very fortunate there. Very, very fortunate. Bit of um server delay, I think. Oh, it's John and Enzo again. Oh, did he lose it? Did he actually lose his front wing? Did Enzo actually lose his front wing? No, he did not. So, once again, 
Let it be. Oh, 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 now he's in a sandwich. Now he's in a bit of a predicament. Oh, I'm just going to stay on board with this. What happened here? Enzo defending to the inside. Pushed it. All got pushed to pass on. Who's got the biggest balls? Ooh. Enzo manages to hold on to the position there. Oh! Yeah, a little bit sideways. Great racing, by the way. This is John. Race against John plenty of times. I say race loosely because he's quicker than me. As much as I... It hurts me to admit it. Great racing there. Great racing. So there we go, guys. A race to forget once again. It went all so well, and I then decided to be my own worst enemy. Ah, oh dear. Take your slowdowns, guys, before you cross the checkered flag, because, yeah, you don't want to do what I did. So on to the next one, guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and, yeah, see you for the next one. Bye.